right, Karibu Sana, welcome back. This is actually the first interview and conversation of the day, but as always, you can engage with us on X, Facebook, and Instagram at Y244 channel with hashtag Y in the morning. And we're just about to get into an interesting conversation about DG entrepreneurship. And let me just give you a little update about the state of our SMEs right in the country. Uh, SMEs just means small and medium sized enterprises. And this actually, they are the economic backbone of Kenya, marking up to 98% of all businesses in the countries that contribute an estimate of 40% of the country's GDP and create up to 30% of all new jobs annually. However, 20% uh, of the 7.4 million MSMEs in Kenya are licensed and some of the challenges facing them include a rising costs, uh, reduced revenue, inflation, uh, cost of raw material, insurance costs, and sometimes also low demand for products and services. And sometimes we import instead of just manufacturing because we have the capacity to, but we opt to importing other than us manufacturing and then exporting. And, uh, but SMEs are actually the biggest source of innovation and that's where technology comes in to create competition and opportunities. And that's actually the biggest thing that all young people and in general citizens of our country right now should be focusing on, creating, innovating and giving people or others opportunity. Not only are you just creating an entrepreneurial opportunity for yourself, but you're also giving another person a chance. And now that's where technology comes in. And for that matter, we are going to talk or deep dive into the world of DG entrepreneurship. And we're being joined live by uh, Zachary Nixon Onyanche, who is a digital consultant and plus many other titles that he got. He's gonna tell us more about himself and this topic right here that you're about to get into. Send in your question on the hashtag Y in the morning at Y244 channel at Brian Circle 101. Thus includes on X, Facebook, and Instagram again. Karibu San. Uh, good morning to you, Nick. Uh, good morning, Brian. Right, so before we come on air, you're actually trying to give me a brief uh, story about how you began. And uh, I just learned that you had a degree in biochemistry and then you know, gravitated or morphed into the world of digital and there's so many things you've done. So please tell us just a little bit of being a biochemist and then becoming a DG mania. How did you become all that? And then all these places you've been to and these companies you've worked with, just briefly. Well, um, so I'd say my journey started way back when I was so young. And <coughs> being one of those guys who are very inclined into tech, that's when I was I got so involved that my dad used to have, you know, that laptops and stuff like that. Then my neighbor used to have a microscope. So I used to play with those both. So when when we grew up, I was like, um, what if we create we create a problem and we create a solution at the same right. time? And right. during that phase is when we had the virus that was deployed. That was um, I think it was Moiki Bucky's during campaigns. So you know, with that kind of mindset, you felt like this is where the world is moving to. You create a problem and you get you have your own solution because no one else is going to debug that. So yeah. apparently when I went to campus, that, that wasn't the case. And it turned out that most of my interest came because the people around me had computers. And that way we started creating solutions. And again, if you, if you come from a family that's um, not well off, you always have to find your ways in, you know, meeting that, that kind of demand. This is getting your food ready, paying part of partially part of your rent. So I needed to make an extra cash in campus. So hence the reason why I deviated a bit and started off doing some 3D animation here at Shangtao. Moved on um, designing some houses, you know, that way. So computer became part of my lifestyle. Yeah. And that's hence why I'm creating solutions based on computers. Right. So you ditched being a biochemist for good and it's well, it's not reflecting anywhere not. in your resume maybe right not. now. Maybe oh. not. Maybe um here's why. Um if you if you're a digipreneur or an mpreneur, which is mobile preneur, is you you're looking for avenues where you can tap into. Cause the main goal is to not die broke. You know get something working for you when you're not there. So if you automate as much as you can and you're able to tap it in, in terms of dollars or in euros, you're better off spending those euros in shillings when yeah. you're in a shilling country. So you look at those avenues. Right. So hence, hence why. 
Right. Uh, now, <laughs> interesting transition. Now, let's get into the word digipreneurship. Uh, for a person who doesn't understand what digipreneurship means, uh, maybe if you can paint just a little perspective of what that means, and then we okay. can deep dive into the deeper details. Okay. okay. Um, so, digipreneur is a fuse between digital and entrepreneurship. So, you're making money in the digital space, and entrepreneurship is you're solving problems. Um, I find so many people who, who have businesses calling themselves entrepreneurs, which ideally it's not the case, because a business, any other b person can do the business. But entrepreneurship, you're looking at, this is the level, this is the problem that I'm solving, yeah? And you're able to talk to, you know, talk to the people who are within your, within your circle to actually create a solution to that level of problem. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's digipreneur for me. Right. Yeah. Now, when you look at the transition and the shift, especially in the day and times we're living right now, it seems like everybody else is moving their businesses online, yeah. uh, making use of social media platforms. We talked about X, that yeah. recently saw Elon Musk had a scuffle and yeah. people left and he complained. He's advocating for free speech. Yeah. The likes of Instagram are now meta. The metaverse is here. Uh, people are now able to collaborate with even platforms like that to even sell products and even advocate for even human rights, not only just products, but even advocating and pushing agendas. According to and from your experience where, where you sit, how far is the shift and is it helping change the economic status of not only just the country, but individual businesses? And I've just pointed out to you the state of SMEs right here in the country. Yeah. Um so what I see was what I see there is there's a huge impact. There's a huge impact because we are all in this digital space in any way or the other. Yeah, you miss me on on X or Instagram, you'll still find me on WhatsApp, and probably it's a link that I'll send you, and you get to pay me using Safaricom's. You know, with Safaricom, I'm not giving you liquid cash. Yeah. I have to do it on the um, on the digital space, and if you look at that, it has a all these as a uh, a trail, so you're able to leave a mark in the digital space. Unlike the traditional way of um, you know um, paying paying you know behind the behind the counter. So all this is changing. In Asia, the other day they banned TikTok. The TikTok that we use here in Kenya is very mild. There it's wild. You scroll, you're able to pay for a drone. Someone is doing the drone and you're seeing some figures here coming down and you click on it, it's shipped to your doorstep. Now for those people who, who don't have, who cannot pay, you just walk into your nearest supermarket, give them the money, you have a unique code that's being put on the POS, you've transacted. So that's, that's the impact of digital. So what they did was they had to shut down TikTok. Because you know why? People are not doing walk-ins walk -ins, walk -ins into the shop. The popular pages are the ones who are making money. What about, so that's the level of how impact, the impact of digital yeah. in the space. So right. in Kenya, for instance, we are moving to that space and the internet is getting better by the day. Yeah. More homes are connected now. Um, the other day I was talking to my, my old lady, my mom now, and she's not even watching TV anymore, you know. She's on the devices and ad is coming, skipping, and every t every now and then, YouTube rolled out the ad blocker um, privacy. They, they updated the privacy, so you're more or less likely to see an ad two, two or three there. We have more digital spaces. Walk outside here, you see all content creators are now super active, you know. Yeah, and, this, and these platforms are actually advancing. They've yeah. not even introduced a premium feature. They are. They yeah. are. Is that they not are. exploited? Well, um, oh, it's just a move to make money now that everybody's on YouTube. <laughs> well, it's we we are, we are motivated by money, you know. Right. The more the platform makes money, the more content creators make money, you know. Yeah. It's the same thing. Um, the reason why I would want to like you know have a digital um, shop, it's because it gives me a lot of less hassle of making sure I have salespeople in my shop. I can just do it on the fly or even automate it. So that's the impact of digital. And yeah. most of these organizations are now moving to that space. Even the president himself said, listen, I'm gonna give you a pay bill and all these integration needs to, you know, payments need to go through this pay bill so that yeah. I'm able to track everything. But a lot of people look at it as a move to be taxed more now that 
they, they call them punitive tax measures. Anyways, we'll talk about that. <laughs> we'll talk about that later on our political platform. But now yeah. uh, let's talk about the technicalities behind uh, digipreneurship. Now that mm -hmm. some of these words are new vocabulary. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, uh, a business that sells uh, carrots or delivers um, skuma wiki. Mm. If they want to shift into the digital space, uh, mm. pragmatically, if you were to explain to that single-handedly young entrepreneur who is at Gikomba, mm. Saizi right now as we mm. speak, how do they make the fast move? Okay, well, um, carrots, you've got to look at the, who, who's the tier, who's the target audience, yeah? So, are you, gonna, are you going the B2B route or are you going to B2C? So the cost per acquisition for a B2B would be slightly cheaper than B2C because you have to be always, you're competing with, let's say, Coca-Cola on running those creative ads, you know, because Coca-Cola will give you like a frequency capping of around 15. A frequency capping is the number of times you're seeing these ads. Safaricom is within that space. And remember, you only have like eight hours or whatever during that time. So for this person who's doing um, these um, carrots delivery, I'll probably propose you look at the entities that are going to take it in bulk so that when you're making that fast trade, you're, you're, let's say you're doing like 100 kgs, you're doing like 20 kgs. That way, you're able to even take care of your day-to-day -day operational costs. Um, you can also do something we call um, cross-marketing. You want carrots, but I know carrots go hand in hand with some, some potatoes or some whatever. So you, I'm able to add more value. Because the thing is, this is well, it's digital. And it's tied to the relationship that I've created with you. you know? And that relationship is what's giving me more people who within your circle would want more carrots. So if I serve you right, you're going to give me more of those carrots uh, vendors. Yeah. And that's, that's how, that's how I would propose how they go about it. Yeah. Just know your, peop, your person that you're selling it to yeah. and make your markups margins right and yeah. just deliver. The first client is happy referrals, referrals, referrals. All right. I was thinking that, you know, first of all, it should be begin being by being tech savvy first. Because <laughs> I can only imagine uh, mm -hmm. an old mama at Gikomba who doesn't have an iPhone like I do. They f first of all, they have no idea what an iPhone is. What they know is they know Mama Gesha Go, Mama Who, blah, 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 the people she talks to. So mm -hmm. I believe maybe they'll have to know how to use a smartphone for those that... But I was really surprised there's villages in this country that don't even have electricity. Wow. Like They've never even seen a laptop. <laughs> wow. And yet they're in Kenya. And then when we talk about also digital, the digital, uh, the, the growth of digital uh, space in Kenya, you wonder yeah. when will they even receive this experience that we are talking about here? Uh, well, um, what, I, what I look at, you know, digital is not all tied to having a mobile phone like smartphone. Okay. It can be even a USSD. So if, the, if there's a farm, like for instance, Mukuri Mabora, which I'm one of the directors, has a USSD code, yeah? Which if you ask me, I haven't been there for quite some time, like following up on things. Maybe USSD, you can explain so what USSD it means. So USSD is star, star, the star five, something hash, codes, yeah. And you have an extension of no. whatever you want. So oh, it's like you can have a balance because you can have a star one four four. Exactly, right. exactly. And it's okay. the same thing. If I was to run a, to run a digital um, company in Uganda, I'm going to expect more of those people that you've just mentioned. Because mm. when you're walking towards Uganda and you see these billboards, it's USSD, USSD. It's not like download because the cost of bundles is slightly higher. So you have to look where people are. So for that case scenario, it's the USSD. Yeah. Ideally, it's the same person that we're talking about. Right. So there are companies who are giving you that kind of options, which will give you a list of items that you need to, be, to sell. So it depends. It depends. Right. Yeah. So it's not tied to just <laughs> a smartphone. It's not. It's but, not. Uh, but also, I feel it's very difficult to order for a product if, you have, if you're not uh, smartphone savvy. Are there, are there well, products that you can order for or even transact with, uh, apart from paying for a service? A smartphone has a better interface. Right. Because it has a bigger screen. However, uh -huh. for your And even more options. More yeah. options, exactly. You know, yeah. your SSD, it's, um, it's, um, there's something, part of the design, because I've done also UX, UI, is you need to know your customer journey. So if the carrots are being put in the last page, 
So chances are for you, you might miss that. Yeah. But now, with the machine learning, you're able to see how many people actually want carrots. Yeah. So if you use your phone number and, and the system registered, oh, this, this is the carrot guy, I'm probably going to give you that first option. Yeah. And it's the same thing Safaricom is doing as well. Where if you're used to borrowing 10 bob, it's going to give you 10 bob. If you're from a different class, it's going to give you 100, 1,000 kind of thing. Yeah. So that's, we, we are now learning our, our users and we are giving them the best option that right. we can. Right. When you look at the reception of, of even the digipreneurship space, as you talk, in Kenya, um, uh, how, how is it? Well, Apart from Nairobi, of course, <laughs> Nairobi, a lot of people are so savvy with some of these things, including AI now, uh, how AI is being incorporated in businesses. You've mentioned story in a machine learning, even in health, now in schools, they are now, you know, adapting to it, uh, thanks yeah. to chat GPT, which is now the yeah. commonly used chatbot now. Yeah. Um, so outside, outside Nairobi, well, last week I was in Kisi and... Where you come from as well? Yes, I'm a Kisi. Okay. So I was in Kisi and I was trying to see like the internet penetration. There's a lot of, I don't want to call them cartels. People, people want to get, to make money. So they lucky discourage people who are actually connected to these um, to the to the less to the little internet that they have there, so you find if the cost of internet is um, th three three thousand, uh, they are sell they are cost selling to you at five thousand, so it discourages you from from doing that, and I think that's why we saw the the Google um, that that was brought the other day. I'm not quite sure. We've seen the president who was talking about Starlink as well, which is a bit expensive, but we are getting there. Yeah. We are getting there. Right. Yeah, we are getting there. All right. Uh, the, the products you've worked for or the companies you've worked for, most of them, look, some of them are essential, but most of them are like even advanced for the people in rural areas. Uh, just to mention like Jumbo Pay and Visa. So how did you uh, find yourself into that? And let me, let me try to just get your description. There's a place where you have um, pro pragmatic certification in Seismic. Uh, also shopping ad certification, yeah. Google ads measurement, campaign management certification, still Google, 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 and then X. Yeah. So maybe if you can just uh, paint yeah. for us a picture so on how that worked uh, out for you. For, for Visa specific, I used to work at Access Leo Burnett, which is, a, which, is a, um, which is an agency. So they were handling, one of their clients was Visa. So I got to like, you know, hop in and run Visa campaigns. For Jumbo Pay, I was employed there as a creative designer. So some of these meetings with um, the previous governor, like Kidero, I used to, you know, um, work with them hand in hand, create solutions based on the, uh, create creatives based on the solution that Jumbo Pay was, was offering. And this, this was to like, you know, position Jumbo Pay as a brand where the customer needed. So that, that was me for them at that point. So that's how I got into that space. So it's been a transition between me being a creative, me being a um, solution provider, yeah. to all the way product designing. Yeah, so if yeah. a company was to hire, for example, at uh, Y244, or let's say KBC in general, if they were to hire you, uh, what services would you be giving or providing to them? Uh, well, uh, this is how I look at things. Um, I would look at KBC as a product mm. that you're giving to the Kenyans. So how, how will this product make sense to the Kenyan? So you look at all the aspects and now you start clearing and, and making them better. Because yeah. you see, we'd want to see a 3.0 KBC. We've seen the first transition of the, the circles, I think. Then we had the box. Yeah. The, this the is now in terms of their logo design. No, that's, yeah, that's now from the brand point of view. Right. Now, that's, that's one element of looking at it. So internally, what is it that you need? You look at all the aspects, yeah? Where are we lacking? Is it the instrument? No. I've sat with people who've worked, in, who've worked at KBC, and they've said if there is the best internship they ever got was through the KBC, because now they learned how to use those cameras nicely. So yeah. you look at all these aspects, you know, if it's, so that's, that's how I would approach it. That's right. how I would approach it. Right. One thing that Kenyan startups lack 
is they do not have product designers. And yeah. that's one thing, because if, if you're using Instagram right now, you'll see a, a version that just has been released. And that version has an element based on the feedback that you got from your users. Yeah, and so there's like incessant updates from yeah. features, icons. Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. Um, I work, f I'm the head of product for a company called PG. PG, the homing pigeon. It's incorporated in the United States. It's a C-Corp Delaware. Um, I'm operating in Indonesia, a market that I've never been, but at least I've stayed there for quite some time. And as a head of product, my role is to make sure that each and every element within the app is sorted. You know, um, you look at, um, like for instance, we are shipping products from location A to location, just the way Uber does it where you get an instant quote from DHL, FedEx, the cheapest option. So some of our clients would ship something that would cost up to $10,000 to $20,000, and that product is insured until it gets home. So in case of any damage, you're sorted. Now, that's not the problem. That's, that was the major problem. Now, when we rolled out that, 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 that product, we realized, listen, some of these shops, because now I'm paying you $10,000, you're not actually even the shop owner. So who's supposed to disband this money to the shop owners? Now we created a solution within that app so that your sales team can also trans can make these, you know, make these purchases seamless. Right. Now we discovered, listen, these two people have to install the, the same app. So what, what are we supposed to do? We need to create a one-sided app. So you see, it's an evolution of app releases. I've yeah. done like, let's say like, 60 app releases this year right. on that one specific product. So it's yeah. you better it as you move. The same way you clean your house, you don't wait until it's weekend to do it, but it's that, yeah. let, me, let me remove these so that it's the same thing that we do also. Yeah, and design is actually uh, one of the most uh, common trend right now in marketing, uh, yeah. visibility. Everybody wants something that's pleasant and uh, just striking. In yeah. terms of when you look at some of the most um, I think uh, prominent uh, products, uh, they, their color, their, their appearance and their personality. When you look at the, uh, the, the, the cover or even the design of the bottle, could it be maybe a wine, lotion, uh, whatever the product is, yeah. it's so striking and attractive to you. You could yeah. be walking on a shelf in a supermarket and you're just drawn to it and you're like, hey, Kumba, this is another version of version. juice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, how can companies uh, create best design? And maybe what are some of the tips and secrets to coming up with just excellent design for products, especially for digital now? Okay, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, understanding your target audience. When, once you understand that, if this thing appeals to youth, make the colors more youthful. Yeah. If this appeals to the older generation, make it a bit subtle. Let, let the beats not be so jumpy. I'll give you an example. When you go and buy, uh, we, bought, um, we bought two washing, washing machine detergents. Yeah. We discovered one. When you open, and I'm not going to mention that one, when you open it, you have to pour it on this cu cup, or which was a cap there, then pour the detergent to the washing machine. Yeah. That's, that's a local brand. Now, right. I bought another international brand here in Kenya still, but now this cup, remember I have to return this cup on the, on the head, so I have the to bottle. go wash yeah. it and return it on that bottle. Right. This other one, it has an extension inside, so I just have to pour it inside pour it into the washing machine and return it. I do not have to wash it. So these yeah. are the personal things about the user, those, those yeah. are journey after he's used that, that product. Same, same case scenario. When Safaricom was rolling their, their solution, they have university people to actually test it before it's rolled out to the, to the bigger audience. And that's the only way you can refine your product, you know. Um, I've won a couple of um, awards and one of the awards that was very critical was the one that I was pitching for some investors in Dubai. Uh, I've been in the fintech space and that's thanks to Jumbo Pay people and shout out to <laughs> Moshemi. Um, when we sit, me and you, we have a drink here. One of the things is probably if this drink is 20,000 or 5,000, we cost share, you know. Now, if my app was able to like I key in, then just put your number like a tap, then yours buzzes, we just pay one bill. The, the, 
the cashier will not or whatever the waiter will not just come and write write it because you don't know what they are looking at you know yeah. that's a product evolution you know mm -hmm. and for you to get there you need to have users so that would advise you on how that's the same thing why i'm in asia asia receives up to 30 20 21 million tourists every single year kenya receives 1 million so if i was to create a product that's tourist focused, of which that's the industry that I'm in, then I need masses to make it faster. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's it. You need the users to advise you on the right. product evolution. Right. Yeah. But then also when you look, before we talk about creative, or maybe let's talk about creative development even for products as well. You need creative that's directors. Right. Uh, you need people that are savvy with uh, the know-how on how to create uh, some of these products in a creative way. It also not only is just for products, even in the creative industry as well, even the content creators, they, there's a way they come up with products that are appealing and you've talked about target audience, knowing your people. So maybe for a small business, if they were to hire you, how would you creatively uh, give them a, face, uh, a facelift for their product? Uh, which, one, which one is very common that has been there since I was born? Which, mm. tell us, which are some of the most common products like they date back from way, way back. I feel like Kiwi, a product, uh, uh, everybody has used Kiwi in high school to uh. shine the issue. Uh. But uh, they, they still, now they have plastic bottles, they also have glass bottles. Uh, yeah. They still have their can, the can, yeah. short can that opens both ways. Yeah. In so now, that's actually the creativity part. Yeah, and now there's even the liquid one. Exactly. Right. So now yeah. for a different product, uh, for anyone who is in business and they want to creatively develop a new advancement. Maybe what are some of the things they should look into in terms of even making their product more subtle? You've mentioned you must look at your audience. If it's an older audience, make mm. it, you know, subtle. If it's a younger audience, make it more youthful and loud. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what I'll look at is the, the feedback that I get. The feedback that I get um, from the, my, my TA. And that's the only way because how I look at business, it's totally, we, c we can have the same product, but since have um, positioned my brand appeals to people who don't care whether it, it's shining, whether it's whatever, because whoever is going to brush my shoe is probably the, the help, you know. We have this bachelor who, who most of the time will not have an extra um, coin to, you know, get that brush and you just want something on the go and you're done, yeah. you know. Um, it's the same way. You find people who work with combs. You have a pocket-friendly comb, and you have the big, big one that you can, you know, yeah. you get in the salons and stuff like that. Right. So it depends on who. They all do the same, the same job, the same task, but it yeah. depends on who's using it. And that's yeah. where you're able to, like, advise them on, this is what you need to do, and this is the direction. Like, for instance, uh, um, when I came in, I heard you were talking about the the exams results. Yeah. Do you know Kenyans are the ones who made ChatGPT what it is? It had yeah. so many flaws. Yeah. Is ChatGPT a Kenyan in innovation? It is Invention. not. But the, 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 the developers, the backend people, yeah. it was refined by Kenyans. Right. Now the beauty about that is um, we have results that are not quite okay, right? Now yeah. if, we, if we deploy um, a solution which is now the machine learnings and stuff like that, it's yeah. able to detect, me, if you ask me, how old a uh, 14-year-old um, still exams and you're not able to detect it? You're in your yeah. 50s, you're in your 40s. Is it going to outsmart you? Get that of thing, course, yeah. put it in the system. <laughs> the system is going to analyze and tell you this is to the extent of the damage. Because you see, even the DNA will not give you 100%. It's going to give you 99.9. Yeah. So you're giving room for an error and better adjustment. And that way, if we started now, in, in like five years, you look back and you're like, damn, yeah. this is something else. Right. The VCs do not care whether your product is perfect. Mm. They want to hear the story behind it. Right. And hence the reason why we create something to make it better. Right. Yeah. And there's been a lot of actually advancement in that space for the digital space, including stories now coding, the coding languages and whatnot, web design, web development. Maybe uh, for you, what are some of the notable ones that you've managed to successfully apply even in Jumbo Pay, Visa and these other many uh, organizations that you've worked for in terms of now the back end side, leave okay. alone the user side? The user. Yep. 
Uh, that's interesting. I'll, I'll say it's the one that I'm working on right now. Um, we, we are tapping into, into the tourism industry. The tourism industry, what we've realized is just the way we have wild beasts. There's a certain point you find these, um, there are crocodiles waiting for these wild beasts. And it's very, uh, people yeah. get excited about it. Now and for us, nature. <laughs> what we've done yeah. is we've seen that journey of tourists because we ha they have summer. We don't have summer. It's always all weather, you know. Yeah. Then they have so to move. to winter and floods. <laughs> <laughs> that's not our winter. <laughs> that's, that's, that's they that's said Nairobi is winter. <laughs> that's, that's just something. It's just, no, anyway, yeah. it's Kenyan weather. <laughs> so when yeah. you look at that wave, you discover there's a, there's a buying pattern. And the people who've realized this better is the airlines. That's where you'll see Dubai, Dubai this, Dubai that, you know. Yeah. They've realized that. And they give you the imagery that works for you. So what we've done at PG is we've created a solution where I'm able to use machine learning and tell Lion Pass, listen, you're losing seven routes because of your pricing. Could you adjust this a bit? And this is, you're, you're probably going to be making more revenue. So that's how we've done it in the back end. And this is now integrating machine learning and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's the notable change that I've seen. Right. Now, in terms of what about placement now of products in the digital space? Uh, of course, placement is one of the key highlights. Uh, the product itself, plus placement, marketing, yeah. uh, also knowing the niche, and also pricing. Yeah. 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 Uh, how, how is it now for maybe a starter? Maybe what are some of the strategies they can use to gain prominence in the DG space? Well, um, that's a, it's, it's all tied to like um, your cost of operation as well. Like if I'm to compete with you and I've gotten, let's say, a coupon with, um, let's say, um, AWS, that's Amazon, and you're starting from scratch and you have to pay it in shillings, you're going to feel the pay in a bit, you know. So... It depends on where I am, in what space. I use all res the resources that I, I have. There are people who have family office, for instance. They have a family backing in terms of finances. There are others who have to do it from scratch, from savings, from peer-to-peer -peer lending and stuff like that. So yeah. it all depends on where you are in that space. Then you're yeah. able to pivot with whatever you have to make a solution work for you. Yeah. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, there's, there's a hungry developer somewhere who just wants someone to partner with yeah yeah a good founder is someone who's able to get the team right because mm. the teams are the ones who are going to place you where you need to be yeah yeah and, and you need to be in sync actually you need to be speaking the same language because you can also be a raggedy leader you know <laughs> yeah it's called micromanaging in workspaces where you know somebody is so intimidatory and they come off as condescending and but you have to be a team leader actually a team player to be in sync with the people you're working with. Yeah, well, um, just know when to keep quiet, just know when you need to press on, just know when you, you need to stand on, on your feet and you know. Um, I can give you an example. There's a, I don't know if it was an Apple product where the CEO was not that good, but it was, I'm not quite sure which, this is one of the startups. The CEO was not that good, but it, it was a tech savvy. And you know, tech yeah. is we just, we want to be in the back end. Yeah. You go, go get the glory. We want yeah. to be the people behind it, but we, we are benefiting. To be the Steve Jobs. Yeah, but Elon is loud and, and very vocal and gabby. Because he's, he's good at that. He's yeah. good at, sh like for instance, when he was launching the SpaceX, yeah. Yeah, there was an extra cylinder that was, that was um, I, I think a cold, cold c cylinder, and then right. of course they're using the hot, hot air, whatever. What happened is, he learned on the go from a YouTuber who asked him, why, why do you need this? Then he was like, oh my God. Then he also acknowledged that YouTuber, you know. So you learn on the go. You're not born knowing these things. Tomorrow, something else might happen. We don't even need our phones anymore. So what are you supposed to do? You evolve as you move on. Like right now, for instance, let me tell you what I'm doing that's really good. We are looking about the metaverse, the metaverse. Can you imagine buying a Maasai bracelet on the metaverse and it's directly shipped to where you are? Yeah. Things are moving. And yeah. 
a Kenyan will not think in that direction, but someone else will. Because you yeah. want an Apple phone in reality. It's Actually, speaking. the metaverse is the, is the future. It is. It <laughs> is the future. It's we are getting the there. reality. It's like the virtual, virtual space. I yeah. think it also ties it to philosophy and spirituality. <laughs> well, yeah. meta and physical. Metaphysical means spiritual. Uh, actually, mystery tied to human existence. So it's an imaginary world of endless opportunities, which yeah. is incredible now incorporating technology. Yeah, right. it is. Yeah. Right. Let's shift to now uh, for products that want to stay afloat. And of course, in every business, there's competition. I think maybe businesses that do not have competition, do, really, do Apple really have competition? Yeah. Apple, they have? Anyways. They do. They do. So, pff, free they advertising do. to see uh, For businesses to stay afloat in this competitive yeah. digital space, from you as an expert who's been in this space for quite some uh, amount, a huge amount of time, maybe what yeah. are some of the tools that they can use and also the ones you've used for these corporations that you worked for to propel their brands and they've managed to stay afloat for years and years? Uh, marketing is constant. Marketing is constant. Um, if the need, if the need does not surpass the, the, well, like for instance, um, when was the last time you had, you had an advert from salt? Yeah. We use salt on a daily basis. We now have cow salt, you know. So if the need is there, you're still gonna, you're going to attract the people who actually need it. So for you to stay afloat. It's just how you play. Because even a creative, me using a t certain type of words, it's a creative on its own. So if I use a proper wordings, then I'm able to sell better because I'm yeah. communicating better. If yeah. I use the better imageries, I'm able, if you look at like, for instance, an, an ad from a certain corporation, you're able to tell from, from way back, that green is X. Yeah. That, 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 oh, that, that soundtrack is basically KBC's. You know, yeah. yeah, that's how it is. Right. So when you're able to to keep on getting that co message yeah. on and on and on, and you so you must be consistent in short, by the you way, you just have to, and also keep up with the latest trends. Discipline, right? That discipline has to be there. Right? Had you not woken up today, to probably wouldn't have a show. Right. And 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 for you, individual, I'm told we have to exit very fast. Maybe okay. for you, what are some of the things you've picked up if you are to maybe do some mentorship program to maybe even students or yeah. interns even here? and you are to pass them some few nuggets of wisdom or tidbits, okay. uh, maybe what are some of those three things that you love to share? And also the experiences you've picked up just shortly before we exit and tell us where people can catch you. Okay, cool. Uh, just always, always know that everything is learning. Things are moving, the world is moving so fast. We're getting new solutions every now and then. Just be on the lookout on what works best for you. It's in the digital space. The cake is so big for everyone. Um, it's not a competition. It's never a competition. Offer what you can. Um, learn from the best or even learn from your peers as well. So pick whatever signals that you would want to, to, to work with. Do you feel like at some point uh, AI is going to take over all well, these is. other traditional activities and it's going to be just AI everywhere? Now that it's also taken over schools, health, research, everywhere. It is. It is. It uh, is. It's in business, is it helping? Very much. We, uh -huh. We've just launched an academy, and right. an academy is we are training people based on what we learned. So we didn't get to hire someone to come and sit and create all this solution. We've used AI based on the, we are calling them prompts. Right. So if you, have the, if you know your prompts, you'll get a better results on AI. Right. So it's, it's, it's working, and it's, AI can even code for you. Right. Now there's coding, which I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really learning the coding languages from the Pythons, Java and whatnot is actually a thing. Do you also feel like it will figure to a place where at least every child must learn coding I was, or must know how to code and uh, the coding languages? I was part of the mentors for Code Africa. This was mentoring kids. And yeah, these are kids. And, yeah, and these this are, are course taught in higher learning institutions. Imagine now kids are you are learning it. Kids are learning it, and yeah. we, they were creating this solution and games. Do you know things like roadblocks? Right. There are kids who are creating their own games and selling them. Right. They are learning how. Kenyan to kids are my Chinese. Yes, one. Kenyans. Oh, you we know, even go we are used to having Japanese kids <laughs> create Apple things <laughs> here. Apuko Kenya to na some grasshopper. <laughs> they're there. They're there. So the grasshopper part to say how? Because of a grasshopper in biology. <laughs> I think it all goes down to the parent. 
So right. if the parent is really wants the kids to learn it, to learn better, they will right. always push you to yeah. get it. Yeah, and that yeah. comes again with the, even the formation of a new uh, learning system, the CBC, which has actually incorporated some of these tech updates. Yes, yes, right. exactly. So right. we, are, we are getting there. It's, it's a slow but sure, sure way, but yeah. we will get there eventually. Lastly, before we go, what is the future? What do you think is the future of DG entrepreneurship? Uh, well, I can only say the future is bright because everything else is going to digital space. Mm -hmm. And we have ICT centers now opening up. Moikibaki did a good job um, giving us this internet and everything. So we are moving. By the time you realize it, we'll have so many people. Like, for instance, people are doing university courses. We have Kenyans who are writing those theses. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. we are moving in that space quite well. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. So tell our viewer where they can catch you. You, you do a lot of consultation yeah. and many other things. Yeah. And this is your camera. Oh, well. Uh, so I'm on X, you call it X nowadays, it's yeah. um, Nixon Zachary. Um, that's, that's where you can find me. Or, or even on Facebook, Nixon Zachary still, Instagram, Nixon Zachary. That's where you can find me. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Just one comment from my group. In a group, yes, Akwa. And it's a Hana Mesema. Uliza Uyom say, Can a boda boda be a digital preneur? <laughs> Can a boda boda be a digital yeah, preneur? Why not? Yeah. He does delivery. How? Does he, do, he does the delivery. Uh -huh. See, in a bebam too. Uh -huh. Definitely, you can do it. Right. I've seen, I've seen multiple, multiple um, boda boda guys being uh, digipreneurs. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Umepanta? Yeah. Hopefully you're satisfied. If not, it's a revert. Okay. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much, Nixon thank Zachary you. Onyancha. Thank you. Zachary, your real name? Yeah, Nixon, yeah. your real yeah. name as well? Actually, Onyancha was added after. Oh, Onyancha was added after <laughs> Zachary Nixon. Yeah, Nixon, Nixon Zachary. Zachary. All right. Yeah. So, so thank you so much for sharing your insights and we wish you the very best. Thank you. Karibu. And here's where we take a break on that hashtag, which is why in the morning on X, Facebook, and Instagram at Y244 channel and at Brian Sako 101. See you in just a bit.